welcome to Quiana's Kitchen, literally. Um, you guys are in my kitchen right now. And um, I am making crown rangoon and sweet cream cheese puffs. Now, being in Minnesota, um, sweet cream cheese puffs was new to me. And it's more like a dessert. It's not like the savory, like kind of a side or appetizer that it is in uh, St. Louis. So, um, what I did was, was I took the cream cheese and of course I creamed it. I put some fresh squeezed lemon juice in there. I put sugar and honey as well as a sweet orange marmalade. Um, the difference is, is it makes it really floral and I haven't seen anybody do this. Um, and it's really yummy I um, enjoy it my kids enjoy it so um, I'm showing it to you guys today and what you're gonna want to do is you get your uh, egg roll I use egg roll wraps because they're bigger and you can get a lot more filling in them um, and so I use these now you're gonna have a cup of or a cup or a bowl of water and you just dip your fingers lightly and run your fingers around the outer edges of your one uh, of your egg roll wrap and then what I also like to do is I turn it on a diagonal so that it's like a diamond shaped you pull that one corner over and make a triangle and once you've made that triangle you want to press and when you press it you make sure that all the air bubbles get in it out get out of there you want to press out all the air bubbles um, one of the things that is really disheartening is when you're making these and the filling comes out so you don't want that to happen so now after you've gotten your little triangle going here you're gonna just run your fingers again all right so now that you've gotten that nice and moist pick up one of the outside edges both outside corners and just fold it over like a little package like a little gift of yumminess and there you have it that's a sweet cream cheese puff and it's amazing so now that I've shown you the sweet cream cheese puffs and how to make the, the filling for that now I'm gonna show you one that's more indigenous or more um, popular where I'm from St. Louis Missouri you know 314 okay um, <laughs> y'all know y'all know I'm something else but um, in this one I put um, imitation crab meat um, there's green onion, there is um, minced garlic, there's also lemon juice, fresh squeezed lemon juice, black pepper, and soy sauce to give it a little bit of salt um, without actually adding gobs of salt. You understand what I'm saying? Um, so once that's in there, and then I also use a little of the raw and gently filtered honey in there as well, and a tap, a couple oh, taps of sugar, just to give it, you know, kind of offset that that tart of the lemon. So now or balance out the tart of the lemon, should I say. So now that um, this is like that, it's going to be the same process. You're going to tap your fingers in the water, run it along the outside edges of your egg roll wrap, like so. Easy, simple. And then you're going to turn it on that diagonal again, like I said, make it into like a diamond. Then you're going to bring those two edges together as before nothing's changed it's all the same it's all good people because once you learn how to do it this way you'll always be able to do it it's just like riding a bike or anything else that once you learn it you know it so then you smooth that on out and then you're gonna take that water again on the outside edges and please believe they don't have to be super perfect trust me as long as you seal them up really good, it's going to be all right. If you get a wrinkle or two in there, just fold that baby on over. Fold that other baby right on over, snug and tight. And there you have it.